What's up guys? Javi here from BarrelLenses.com and today I wanted to talk to you about the brand new Panasonic GH5. There's been a lot of buzz about this camera ever since it got announced. So what we wanted to do is take it out for a spin, really put it through its paces and see whether or not those upgrades are really worth it. So here's what we found. The first thing that we found is that we really love the new build of the GH5. The camera's a little bit heftier, the grip a little bit thicker, it just feels better in your hand and it'll stabilize your shots because of the extra weight. We also love some of the other added physical features such as an extended viewfinder, full size HDMI and dual SD card recording slots. The next thing that we loved about the GH5 is the increased capability in low light. GH4 users know that you really want to stay around 800 ISO so that you don't get any noise in your shadows. That is not the case with the GH5. We were able to shoot at 1600 ISO and even at 3200 ISO with little to no noise in the shadows, which really gives you a lot more versatility when shooting in low light. Another thing that we liked about the GH5 was the five axis image stabilization built into the sensor. All of our test shots were shot handheld, sometimes at very long focal ranges, and you could barely see any vibration or movement in the image. All the shots look crisp and smooth, which is ideal for when you're running and gunning and trying to keep a small package. You can really handhold this camera in ways that you couldn't handhold the GH4. Something for you editors out there, a big upgrade on the GH5 is the ability to shoot 10-bit 422 4K images. With the GH4, you were relegated to 8-bit images, which really hindered your color correction in post-production. With the GH5, you can fully utilize the range of Panasonic's V-Log profile because of the added information your files will have. We really love color correcting the footage out of this camera, and we found that it was easier to color correct compared to the footage that we got out of the GH4. With the GH5, you can also shoot 60p in 4K, all of these slow-mo shots that you're seeing right now are shot in 4K and the image looks nice and crisp. It really gives you a lot of versatility and high-end features in a small budget camera. So all in all, we're really falling in love with the Panasonic VH5. It does have some drawbacks. It's not going to be the low-light monster that the Sony a7S, A7S II are going to be. But if you're really willing to sacrifice a little bit of low-light capability, you get a lot more features in this, especially with 4K at 10 bit, the high speed shooting in 4K, and the added features such as dual SD card slots and the image stabilized sensor. If you want to learn more about the GH5 or anything else that we carry, check us out at borrowlenses.com and rent today.